Welcome back guys. Uh, today I am taking a look at a uh, Debian testing distribution um, called Semplis. S-E-M-P-L-I-S, uh, I'm sorry, S-E-M-P-L-I-C-E. -E. Now it is a bare bones Debian testing distribution. Uh, I did install GUVC View and Kazam in order to do this video. Now, I have not really done anything else to it other than run the updates. Now, it is an open box system, so uh, we're gonna follow along here. It says, great, you just opened the main simplest menu. Now write something in the keyboard. So, if I type something on the keyboard, um, the search comes up in the top of the screen. As you can see, I typed ice and ice weasel came up. From here, you can easily open new applications, press escape to hide the launcher, which I did. Now you can use Semplis. So that's a little bit of a, a kind of a beginning tutorial uh, to show you how to use the open box system. Now with OpenBox, you don't really have a, a menu in your, um, in your toolbar. Uh, you've got open windows, as you can see down the bottom, I have GUVC View and Kazam. But other than that, um, for example, if I, type, if I type Ice and I have Ice Weasel and I bring up Ice Weasel, then another window opens at the bottom. So it's a typical open windows scenario. Now, in the bottom right, um, you have your utilities. It's your system tray. I haven't added, added anything to it, um, but I would uh, add the usual uh, P-Sensor, Redshift, things like that. Now this is Ice Weasel. And this is the default browser. If I go to Semplis website, uh, let's see if this is the website. Doesn't look like it. So how about Semplis Linux? That sounds better. Okay, so here we have the Semplis web website. Now, the reason I like it is because it's simple. Um, it's open box. It uh, it installs quickly. It's open box, so it is simple. If I, in order to get a menu, you right click the desktop, and it brings you a terminal emulator, web browser, XChat, shows your applications by category. As you can see, not a whole lot is installed out of the box, but I think that's a good thing because then you can build it just the way you want. Places, it has all of your places. Haven't had any issues with file management. For desktops, you can add a new desktop or remove the last desktop. And for music, I have no music player running and for settings, you've got a little uh, settings configuration menu. Now, if you go to appearance, you can uh, change your theme. You can add effects. And this is, uh, I think it's a uh, compositing manager like a Compton, which I'm not enabling at this point. And then, of course, you've got your fonts. Now, if I go back to the full menu, you can auto start applications, and it's a little bit different than you used to, let's say, in XFCE or, or Mate, but um, it is intuitive, and I'm sure you can get the hang of it. For a desktop, these are the wallpapers that come out of the box, and you've got a panel configuration. All pretty basic. There are shortcuts 
device details, features, keyboard, region, time and date, user and group, network connections. Now it did uh, recognize my ethernet connection right out of the box. And this is the power manager. And there really isn't much for power management. I don't see a screensaver or, or anything like that. So <clears throat> it is simple. And simple is good. Now, as far as um, I'm going to install one thing here because I want to take a look at something. Okay, so I'm installing Synaptic Package Manager. <clears throat> And it's the easiest way to bring up the sources. As you can see, it's pretty fast. So now if I right click on the desktop and I go into applications, system tools, oh, let's see, settings. Let's see if it's under settings. No, not yet. Let's see where it's hiding in the Accessories, graphics, internet, office, sound and video, Syst oh, it's under administration right here, Synaptic Package Manager. Now, I'm going to open that up so we can take a look at sources. <clears throat> so you can see exactly what we're talking about. This is Linux Unstable. So it's beyond testing. It is unstable. It uses the unstable. Same as uh, seduction. It also uses unstable. So these are all the unstable. <coughs> Excuse me. These are all the unstable sources. I happen to like using unstable, but it's not for everybody. And uh, you can break the system pretty easily. You have to be careful on your updates and your upgrades. But um, I happen to like it for two reasons. It's Debian, it's Debian Unstable, and it's open box. Very lightweight. And so far I have not had any issues. This is my second install. I installed it first. I put in all my system tray applications. Uh, I had no issues at all. So I installed it again for this video so that we could walk through it right from the beginning. So this is Semplice, S-E-M-P-L-I-C-E. -E. Uh, I do recommend that you give it a try and install it as a secondary uh, operating system. Uh, just so you can take a look at it and feel your way around before you make a decision on whether you would like to try something like this on a daily basis. So that's it for Semplice, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.